Hey, maybe you're sneaking in a new hobby. How about that? For many during the pandemic, they've learned a new activity, maybe on their own, to be socially distant from people. And that's what Lauren's doing. Absolutely. She is uh, doing that this afternoon at Juggernaut Glass. Hey, Lauren. Hey, guys. We are in the Heights. And I'm not sure if you've recently seen the show on Netflix. It's called Blown Away. But I've become obsessed with the art of glass blowing. It is so fascinating to me because these pieces can turn into beautiful works of art just with the simple flame and the touch of the magic hand. <laughs> I'm here with Will Jackson. He is a glass blower, a glass artist who's got many pieces that you sell. You do classes mm -hmm. here. Tell us about the different parts that it takes to blow glass. Sure. Well, you know, we buy we buy materials online. There's there's rods, there's tubing. Okay. And really everything we create starts there. I use this torch. Okay. It's a uh, the flame gets about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's like so it's super very, hot. very hot. Yeah. You don't want to feel that temperature. No, I can feel it from right here. I'm okay right here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's an awesome craft. We, we've got colors to use. We've got all kinds of tools. A lot of them are made of graphite. What kind of you really mentioned earlier I loved was that the art of glass blowing is really wherever your imagination can take you. Yeah. You can blow any type of beautiful masterpiece. Certainly, you're really only limited by your imagination and your skill level, I suppose. Yeah. Well, you know? How long have you been uh, doing the glass blowing? I've been working with glass about 11 and a half years now. So, so you, have some, yeah. you have some years <laughs> under Certainly. your belt and you guys do classes here at Juggernaut as well. Yeah, right? yeah. We offer classes uh, kind of seasonal. We'll do a lot of ornaments towards right. the end of the year. Some we're, hearts for Yeah, Valentine's we're about Day. to make a lot of hearts, maybe move on to Easter eggs Wonderful. soon. So, fun All stuff. Right. Well, Will, don't move. He's going to give me the lowdown on how I can safely use this torch, and we're going to blow some glass art pieces coming up here in just a little bit. Courtney and Derek, back to you guys in the studio. Look how beautiful this is. That is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I know your shot's just a little fuzzy there, Lauren, but Courtney and I are big fans of Juggernaut Class. We did a class there about a year ago. We did. Our craft off. Our craft off. Well, Lauren, we can't wait to see what you get into today. I'm sure you're going to be great. See you. Artist Will Jackson at Juggernaut Glass in the Heights. And this is so amazing. I've really become fascinated with the art of blowing glass, glass blowing for these beautiful decorations. I saw the show on Netflix called Blown Away, and this is a great place to come in and take a class and really learn the art. And so, Will, what you've been showing us is exactly how hot you have to get the flame, mm -hmm. which is? Uh, this flame is about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, look at the very tip of the, fl of the glass. You can tell the orange is where the fire, and the red is really heating it up. Uh-huh. Is there a certain point that you know it's ready to bend and to melt? Yeah, well, I'm just looking for a uniform glow, uniform heat. Uh, you know, right around 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit is a good temperature to work at. Sometimes we'll work a little lower, a little higher. But the average, I'd say, is right around 2,600. Now, you're working with a crystal clear piece and a colored piece, correct? Yeah, yeah. So we've got some, uh, this is Pyrex. Okay. Uh, this is a good brand to clear. And then what I'm doing is encasing it with color to really, uh, you know, give it some nice tones, get that nice blue hue to it. And but as it, also, it heats up, it, it looks like it's literally just melting onto the other piece. Exactly, yeah. I'm adhering it there. And then once I encase this this uh, clear with the color, it'll make that color a lot more workable, a lot more kind of predictable. What we were at, talking about a little while ago is some of the colors, when they heat up, they, they're deceiving. They don't look as the color they're going to dry Exactly, as, exactly, yeah. So this blue has this real orange tone. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of the other colors do different things. Red is real clear while it's hot, and as it cools, that red tone really comes right back out. Well, Will, this is such a fascinating process. I just love it, and I know we mentioned that classes are available to the public, and you guys can buy some of Will's pieces also. If you want more information, or if you'd like to take a class, maybe after Valentine's Day, because Valentine's Day is Yeah, really we're all booked up, up for that, but lots on, of hearts. Yeah, lots of hearts for Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, it'll maybe be some, real fun. Some cups and decorations for mom, too. Log on to HoustonLife.tv for more information. Derek and Courtney, I'm sending it back to you guys in Studio B. Oh, Lauren, thanks so much. We had so much fun when we were out with Will um, doing our craft segment and the blowing the glass. And he was talking about those date night classes. Yeah, I still, that holiday ornament, yes. one of my favorites. Mine, too. All right, Lauren, thank you for that. After